Ever feel like energy innovation has a secret handshake? Well, welcome to the Delaware Basin, where high-stakes geology meets audacious engineering. I'm Mark Roach, FutureWise Energy. And if the energy world has a frontier where the rules of risk and reward are rewritten daily, this is it. The Delaware Basin is where ambition goes to stretch itself, where technology takes on challenges that geology hadn't even RSVP'd for. Trust me, this place operates on an axis of depth, precision, and groundbreaking performance. First, consider the stage we're, we're on. The Delaware Basin spans across Texas and New Mexico, and it's, it's no exaggeration to call this the crown jewel of the Permian region. Here, the Wolf Camp A wells descend to a true vertical depth, or TVD, of 11,122 feet. That's deeper than most basins that we analyze. If this were a high-stakes poker game, the Delaware is that player smoothly sliding all its chips to the center of the table. The geologic complexity? Well, it's steep. The payoff for cracking it? Even steeper. But depth is just the baseline for understanding this basin story. What really makes this place fascinating are the outputs. The average oil shrunk EUR, estimated ultimate recovery, per perforated lateral foot is a staggering 74.82 barrels, and the median doesn't trail far behind at 69.81 barrels. Top performers hit a peak of 117.3 barrels. It's not just efficiency, it's artistry in motion with every lateral acting like a maestro, pulling energy out of rock in volumes that can only be described as symphonic. What's fueling this crescendo? It's a methodical reimagining of how wells are designed. The perforated lateral links stretch a median of 9,049 feet, aided by propent loads climbing to a sky high 2,463 pounds per lateral foot. Imagine precision engineering that goes beyond function. It's more like turning every well into a power tool for energy production. And the breaks in tradition? Almost audible. Operators here use development approaches that would many would call futuristic. Cube development, multi-layer targeting, and seismic mapping so detailed it might be as well be, you know, called energy cartography. And it doesn't stop there. The Delaware is also the gladiator that constantly battles and often outmaneuvers market volatility. While industry observers once pegged this basin as high maintenance due to upfront cost, its break-even economics have shifted the narrative. Today, the median break-even price for oil from these wells is $45.95 per barrel with efficient producers dripping into the range as low as $31.92. For comparison, that's like running a Formula One car on hybrid efficiency. It's sleek, it's fast, and it knows exactly how to get the most out of its fuel. These economics have sharpened operating models where precision spending isn't just advisable, it's the only way forward. Of course, it helps that the Delaware's Wells are designed not just with initial output in mind, but with their sustainability at their core. Initial oil to gas ratios, or gas to oil ratios, GORs, sit at a medium of 2,470 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, indicative of a basin boasting strong associated gas potential. For an industry seeking ways to maximize every hydrocarbon molecule, the Delaware positions itself as both a pioneer and a professor, launching solutions while setting teachable examples. But here's what pulls the Delaware further into the spotlight. The operators aren't just nimble, they're borderline clairvoyant with their use of technology. Predictive analytics guide every inch of the process. The drill bit, it's not a tool. It's a precision-guided weapon against geologic uncertainty. 
Sensors embedded into the system provide live feedback loops, allowing operators to pivot and finesse their strategies in real time. Combine that with enhanced completion techniques, and you've got wells built not just for productivity, but for agility, a blueprint for thriving in volatile markets. Challenges, however, remain. It's a key subplot in this basin saga. The Delaware Basin doesn't just wear its crown very easily. Resources here come at the cost of meticulous planning and often grueling decision-making. Marginal wells can knock the door off of profitability, only to find it bolted shut by market fluctuations. Operators who play here, who play small, lose big here. That's why the Delaware is a paradox. It rewards bold action, but manages to punish the timid with an efficiency as unforgiving as the Texas sun. And yet, therein lies the basin's genius. It thrives not in spite of its challenges, but because of its adaptability. The Delaware doesn't improvise. It evolves. Operators are pushing the boundaries of what's technologically possible, expanding not just output, but redefining possibilities across the entire shale spectrum. The lessons learned here cascade across the industry, shaping everything from capital allocation strategies to environmental stewardship. Before we close this narrative, it's crucial to highlight the intellect behind our analysis. ComboCurve.com provided the data backbone that brings these insights into clarity. Their next generation forecasting and economic tools peel back the layers and complexity to reveal a simple truth. Delaware Basin is not just producing energy, it's producing new paradigms. If there's one takeaway from the Delaware, it's this. The future of energy is already here under the Permian skies. Its blueprint, depth meets daring and efficiency shakes hands with ambition. The Delaware's operators aren't just drilling wells, they're building a legacy defined by performance, adaptation, and breakthrough ideas. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious. I'm Mark Roach with FutureWise Energy, and this has been your window into the Delaware Basin's fascinating reality. Proof positive that the energy game isn't just being played, it's being mastered.